One of the most suggested excursions we had in Maui was to go up to Haleakala and see the sunrise. We also ended up taking the bike trip down from Haleakala through the tour company Bike Maui. Bike Maui is one of the few tour companies that takes you up to Haleakala for the sunrise as well as lets you bike down through their self-guided sunrise tour. This costs us about $220 per person before taxes and depending on what time of year you go, you'll have to arrive pretty early in the morning but you'll get a tour up to Haleakala with some narration and commentary as well as getting to view the sunrise at the crater and then getting your 23 mile bike ride down Haleakala. Almost everything you need will be included with your tour, whether it's some cold weather gear, your bike, helmets, again, anything you might need. With this tour, you can choose to bike or not bike, as well as choose your date that you want to attend. I, I really suggest booking at least two weeks out. With this tour for two people, it costs us right about $500 or so. But luckily, there's a 48 hour cancellation policy just in case you decide to cancel up to 48 hours before your trip. Now let's walk through what the trip was like. First off, you probably have to wake up about 2 in the morning. That is the roughest part of this trip, but it's definitely worth it. You start with a ride over to Haiku where you'll get picked up meet your tour guide, get your gear, and really start your journey up to Haleakala. Typically the meeting times are around 4 to 5 in the morning, probably closer to 4 in the morning. Then from there we took a two hour bus ride up to the top of Haleakala. Through this journey, we got a lot of commentary about the area, about Haleakala, and really, you got time to relax. We were one of the first tour groups there, so we got our pick of the litter um, of where we got to stand to see the sunrise. You have a lot of people looking over the crater towards the east, just waiting for the sun to rise. We had about 45 minutes to an hour before the sun actually rose to stand and enjoy the really cold weather, as well as just each other's company. This is when the sun first started rising. You can see those clouds coming in on that uh, really picture perfect morning. This was still during COVID, so you did have to wear a mask, but truthfully, it kept us warmer, anyways. probably a few hundred people there just waiting for the sun to rise. Definitely crowded, but 100% worth it.
south is 22, January 29th. This is your sunrise. <laughs> we also have an announcement to make. On this very So for me at least, the sunrise was nice, but the real fun was getting to bike down Haleakala. After the sunrise, they'll take you back to the bus and take you a little bit ways down the mountain, but then you'll hop on your bike, and really from there, you get to cruise down the mountain at your leisure. They give you until about 4 p.m. to get the bikes back, but really, it might only take a few hours. So all I'll say is sit back and enjoy the ride, if you take this, definitely be prepared. It's not really a heavy bicycle ride, but you do have to have a nice grasp on the brakes, as well as be confident while on the road next to other high-speed vehicles and bikers. So we were just getting confident on our bikes at this point, but really as you're making your way down the mountain, you're going to get up to probably 25, 30 miles an hour while riding your brakes, but you can definitely get down faster as you're going through these hairpin turns. Most people will stop probably every few hundred meters per se and just enjoy the view. Take your time, don't rush down the mountain. Enjoy your company, your friends, your family, and the hopefully great weather you'll have with the views of the ocean, the other side of the island, and the valley below. So the first part of the trip, like I mentioned, are just these switchbacks or hairpin turns, but it's so nice getting to look over that valley. I definitely think my favorite part of this trip was just getting to cruise down the mountain. You have probably 60 degree, 70 degree weather, probably closer to 60 degrees, but so refreshing in February with that wind just blowing in your face and the adrenaline pumping. So as you started your bike ride above the tree line, you'll see you start making your way back to the trees, back towards the towns from where you started the trip entirely. On our bike ride, we'll end up stopping in uh, Makawao, which is an old cowboy town. And then you'll make your way back down through Haiku. This was a fun part of the bike ride because you did get to go by some of the kind of suburbs or houses in these mountains and got to see a unique part of the island you might not get to see as you might when you're just on the beach or staying at your resort.
definitely when you're through these parts of your ride, it's a little more flat. You don't have to ride the brakes as much. You're still probably going about 20 plus miles an hour through these parts, but it's still very enjoyable. And truthfully, a lot safer than when you're uh, going straight down the mountain like you might at the beginning. But there is more traffic, so you have to watch out for the cars, other bikers, and any other vehicles you might see on your ride down. I'll say on this ride, as fast as you're going, as much gear as you have, there were very few moments I didn't feel safe on this bike ride. I'd say as long as you can be confident on a bike, you have the settings set up right on your bike, which will help you. Most people should have no problem coming down this mountain, but there are always risks. So just make sure you take care of those risks and enjoy your time on the bike as much as possible. This part of the bike ride, pretty sure my battery on my GoPro died or the memory got caught up, given I had it on most of the time. There are definitely a few parts where, say you might get, per se, lost on your way back down. But truthfully, it's a few right turns, a couple left turns, they give really good directions on the way back. But I will say my partner did almost go the wrong way and I had a corrector, so we did almost get lost on the way back down to Makawao and Haiku. This is just the fun part of going up and down these hills, going through the farmland, the suburbs. Again, just enjoying your time on the island on probably your first time on the island or the rest of your vacation, whatever it might be. make it down the mountain and we're on our way to Makawa. On the way you'll see horses, livestock, and the fields where you have this farmland um, where the cowboys used to roam, where they used to um, do a lot more farming and agriculture as well as the livestock there. When you get to Makawa, it's a small little historical town, but you'll get to stop for coffee and donuts or wherever you might want to grab some food. I suggest Espresso Mafia, small little food cart that our guide told us about, but great coffee, reasonable prices, and you're supporting a local businesses. They truthfully now might have a cafe, as they talked about. And then we stopped at Komoda uh, General Store, or Store and Bakery. Here, you have stick donuts, uh, malasada are what they're called, as well as different types of pastries and bread. Uh, I believe that might be cash only, I truthfully can't remember. But stop in, get some donuts, and enjoy your time in this little historical cowboy town. Thanks for stopping by and listening to our trip. I hope you enjoy yours if you go on this Bike Maui adventure.